attention and attention control turns out to be a really, really important factor in real world success in a lot of domains. Um, so, for example, we now know that, uh, that the brain processes information in, in two ways. And the, the recent Nobel laureate, Daniel Kahneman, calls them system one and system two. So system one is uh, very, very quick. Uh, it's, uh, it's not effortful, and it relies on all of the knowledge that you know. You know, what happens is that your brain sort of provides all of that information to you. It certainly doesn't come into consciousness, but it's all sort of ready there. It's, it's highly available to you. System two is the controlled, effortful, algorithmic, we can call it, way that we process information. And that's particularly important when we're in novel situations. This second system, this attention control system, turns out to be really, really important in a wide variety of domains. And that's really something that's come out of this lab. This lab has really established that whole field of work, showing that, that your ability to focus your attention, to not have your attention be captured by extraneous in, uh, events in the environment or extraneous thoughts, is really important to your ability to, to multitask, for example. There are individual differences in people's ability to solve novel problems, to handle novel environments, novel situations, those differences exist, they're biologically driven, and yet we can learn to circumvent them. I, I'm convinced that we can come up with some ways of helping people to get around those deficiencies. But those deficiencies, those limitations across individuals are really important. And they're important in social domains as well as, uh, as many cognitive performance domains.